This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. <laughs> Hey guys, it is the Awesome Chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is the show where we talk about people or talk with people about doing some awesome things in and around outside uh, Pittsburgh area. You know, uh, uh, just doing awesome things in technology, in social media, in media, as will be the case today. Uh, you can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Subscribe to the Awesome Chat on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the YouTube and Facebook page for Awesome Cast. Please join us in the group for the Awesome uh, Awesome Cast on uh, Facebook groups. And uh, please uh, thank you everybody that's supporting the show, uh, patreon.com slash awesomecast. As many know, if you listen to the regular show, we do plug our good friends at the River's Edge every week. Uh, one of our partners here on the show, they carry our Awesome Cast every week and some other uh, shows that we provide as Orgatron Media. And there's something new and fun and something very metally <laughs> that has just been unveiled on Pittsburgh. And uh, this this week, Zach Zach Fell is joining us here. He is the uh, what was it, what we determined program just, director. Just, just call me the, uh, one of the managers. The manager, one of the managers of the the Metal Edge. Yes. Get your devil horns up. There you go. Oh, can't you can't can't use the thumb. That means love and sign language. Oh, you gotta, oh that, just that, the horns. There you go. It's a little too Jimmy Snuka. I I, I know. So uh, thank you for joining us here. Oh, thanks for having me. So, uh, first of all, you know, what is the Metal Edge? Uh, I, I don't know if I can explain what it is without saying what the River's Edge is. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's just because that's how I've been leading into it. Uh, Absolutely. River's Edge, local uh, local um, radio and podcast network featuring uh, focusing on Pittsburgh arts, entertainment, news, and the like. The Metal Edge is like that, but instead of, uh, you know, focusing on... Uh, all sorts of uh, music. We're more in the hard rock, heavy metal variety, and all of uh, relevant subgenres to that. Mm-hmm. So, how did this? How did this come about? Like, well, first, what, what's your kind of background with metal? Uh, fan. Uh, years and years of being a fan, probably since the awkward teenage years to now. Um, Which is when all good uh, listeners, uh, you know, get into metal, probably. Uh, Really? Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, at least all the ones that I know have got in, got in, uh, got in pretty early. Whether it be family or friends, getting them into it in school. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was a fan all through like middle school, high school, just getting into bands, and I ended up going to Cal U for um, just going to college. And before I had even determined a major, I had been invited by a friend I went to high school with to visit the radio station down there. Uh, loved it. Became a DJ. Was there? Um, I DJed for four years. I was the program director for a year. I was the. I was a music director for just uh, what would be called loud rock, which really just means rock and metal, for three years. And I was the station manager my senior year. Uh, graduated uh, last May, twenty sixteen. Um, I met Brian Crawford there from the River's Edge at. Uh, WCAL. That's that's where we became acquainted, and he had uh, eventually splintered off, started the River's Edge, started doing his own thing. Uh, what about a year and a half ish before I graduated? Uh, got out of there, and he had come to me. Just you know, if if I wasn't leaving the area to get a job or anything, he was he had offered me and uh, a buddy of mine, Jonathan Kilback, who is also one of the other managers of at the Metal's Edge. Metal Edge. Oh my God, I'm making everyone else's mistake now. Uh, to just just do a just to do a show. We were gonna originally just come on do a weekly show, mm-hmm. uh, just because of our connections within the local community and our involvement within in the scene itself. And from there, I guess I guess Brian and the rest of the crew at the River's Edge started getting. They they, they realized that if they brought us on, they'd be signing a whole bunch of metal bands. <laughs> and the River's Edge would become a metal station. Yeah. Uh, so they approached and, me about starting starting a subsidiary. And, and right now, like, and it, it's it's one of the awesome things. And 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 if I have like one tiny complaint about River's Edge, it's like you're listening to great 
punk mm-hmm. and then rock and then folk and country out of Singer, nowhere songwriter yeah, r&b yeah yeah, yeah. so it, it's like it, it is it's great because it's pittsburgh music but it's also it's all the different genres mm-hmm. you know so it's kind of nice that there's this super focus and it's mostly because of your involvement that this happened right uh they brought the idea to me i did not i didn't propose anything about starting it he they wanted me to start a show and i was like all right that's cool i'd love to continue djing i'd love to continue being involved Mm -hmm. musically somehow i'd love to be in radio um i I didn't get my degree in in that my degrees in business and marketing but i spent four years in the radio station ended up running the place ended up being uh ended up being the head so i don't know i had some knowledge there and they, uh, you know, they brought me on to start to start as a subsidiary, and we've kind of been formulating that for about a year now. Mm-hmm. Uh, finally launched on Sunday. So coming from your your background and working in you know college radio and, and having that kind of media experience, what did you think of this this concept of like the River's Edge and and just taking this independently and and, and online? Um, I was I was really supportive of, uh, right off the bat because I thought it was super cool what they were doing, mm-hmm. but I don't think then i i realized how important or what it would be like like i do now um because we live in this really just like a hyper connected world yeah like w- right before this started we both got on our phones and started sharing stuff right we're at we're able to share this media and talk to and sh- and and people can listen in and tune in from all over the world at the click of a button instantly well you, we can but why not use that to also connect the community around you? And so I, I, I don't know. I, the idea of it has grown on me way more as, as the, the last year, year and a half, two years have, have gone on. So I don't know. I, I think it's important because, you know, the people around you, they're your friends, they're your, they're your family, they're, mm-hmm. they're the bands, the fans, the, the, the photographers, the artists, the, the, the talk show hosts, just the personalities behind everything that are, that are within your immediate vicinity, but you know you can you can still maintain that connectivity that can also connect you to someone across the world. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I was looking at our, our user map. We we we've had someone listening in Kansas. It, we're a metal stream focusing on Pittsburgh. Who, who's listening in Kansas? I I don't know. It I don't know. It it, it gives a a nice focus on the localized entertainment and arts, but also giving it a platform to reach. Mm-hmm anywhere metal especially metal mm-hmm. in this vein is uh definitely not something that's on the radio right <laughs> uh no. on, on fm radio let's say no i uh, you know I, and i know you know the, you know seeing all the press of, uh going into this this mm-hmm. this launch you know about how strong that metal scene is i know i've seen bits and pieces mm-hmm. of it uh myself i was doing a little bit of hip-hop with some metal guys and you know 10 years ago and seeing even then it looked like it was really strong right um what outlets were there for Pittsburgh metal before something like this? Um, I'm 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 gonna hold my tongue a little bit on it, and I'm gonna say none. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep the biting remarks down because there there really is no outlet in Pittsburgh playing metal. It sounds like just the, not a consolidated place to go for for metal like this. I, I don't consider throwing a hat tip to the scene playing metal. Mm-hmm. I, I don't consider sandwiching a a top 40 uh, band such as a, I don't want to say top 40, but like super mainstream metal doesn't get on the radio. Well, super mainstream does. Um, the Avenged Sevenfolds, the Slipknots, the yeah. Disturbs, they do, but they get sandwiched between things like Nirvana. Yeah. Nirvana's not metal. They get sandwiched between things that or a rock it, or alternative lighter stuff i mean hearing a metallica song every now and then at, at this point that's they're, they're one of the biggest bands in the world that's not you playing metal that's you playing them because they're popular mm-hmm. so no there there is no outlet no major outlet uh i i don't want to disparage like local college radio stations i know Pitt has one cow you has at least while i was there had a really big metal following but our station doesn't reach this far mm-hmm. unless you go online um so no there's, there's never not really anything here um radio wise focusing on the local rock and metal scene okay 
Um, what were kind of some challenges going into this? You know, you talked about like how you know you guys get reach out more to you know, you know Kansas. They're listening to Pittsburgh metal now. Mm. You know, were there any any kind of barriers that you saw when in putting this thing together that you kind of maybe didn't expect? Let's see barriers. Um, whether around the technology, around around the things you know, versus your knowledge mm. of, of of you know re, re, traditional radio, say. I think the hardest part was getting. It, I don't want to generalize on it because we've we've had both a really good response from the local, from the communities and the bands, but I can't really blame anyone for dragging their feet up to this point because we weren't live. We're mm-hmm. hey, we're getting we're we're looking to start up a radio stream for bands in the area. Give me your music. Oh oh, you just want my music? Whatever. And you know, um, so I, I can't hold that against anyone. But that's probably the biggest challenge. Is you know you. You say, hey, yeah, this is what we're doing. It's not live yet. Yeah. That I think that was probably the hardest struggle. And not ha- it's gotten better in the last few months, um, but there's not been much uh, connecting the local metal scene. There's been a there's a lot of bands, there's a lot of really good bands with with dedicated followings of their own, but not much bridging it because just like you're going to have, um, you know, you have splinters within any any music community. You know, that, that what's the difference between like Southern rock and country and rock and roll? It, you get that within metal to almost an extreme level mm-hmm. because, I mean, I, I don't want to go off on a list, but I can, I can name you 20, probably 25 different genres of metal. Uh, it, it's just going to make me look, you know, Kind of schizoid, like all right, oh, over here you've got you've got the fathers with with Black Sabbath. They're not they weren't really originally metal. They were they were blues rock who then down tuned their guitars and threw some distortion on it and created metal. And then you got Judas Priest and like Iron Maiden. You got New Album, which uh, it, it's an acronym, New Wave of British Heavy Metal. And then you know uh, new new metal, power metal, um, you know speed metal, progressive metal. I, I there's so many different like subsects based on who influenced who at what point in their life that, you know, there's, there's a lot of dedicated followings here, but nothing, nothing bringing them all together. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't want to say it was like a big challenge because there's, there's a lot around and that's part of what made it kind of easy and almost like organic that it's, eh, you know, Hey, I like what you're doing. Who else, who are you talking to? Who 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 are you playing with, or um, who, who would you recommend that you think would be into this? And they they give a couple names, and all right, you follow them, check into that, and then it's all right. They're playing a show, and on this show is three other bands. So check them all out, reach out to them, and it's just it kind of it just snowballed like that. Just just I don't know for the last few months where I would just I was I we've been building databases of of these bands in the area, and I probably have. Uh, between signed and just not signed and, you know, inactive and, you know, bands that maybe that they don't have music out yet, but they're playing shows. We, we, I've come across, I would say, a solid 200 bands that I've been at least interested in, mm-hmm. even though not, of, not all are active, not all have music out, you know, so-and-so. Not all of them uh, will respond to me uh, <laughs> and, and that kind of stuff. There's, there's a lot out there. It's just, I, I don't think... They're, I, I don't know if they get the word out that they're there. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a great music scene here. We have venues of all sizes. M- a lot of major tours come through Pittsburgh, and it, you know, uh, Stage AE, I think, was a great addition to Pittsburgh as a whole. Um, just, just filling a void of that sized venue um, that, that can bring in bands that maybe can't fill. Star Lake, but can fill there, but are too big for like the Smalls and Rex Theater, because those cap out at well, like not eight nine hundred something like that, some somewhere in the in the the low two thousand range, and then from there up, it was it, it was nothing, so I don't know, it filled it filled a really nice gap, but we've always had a really good music scene here. We always have a lot of arts artsy people, and. uh I don't know. I don't. I don't know if there've really been major challenges or, or roadblocks, but more, uh, you know, we're a unique city that requires unique solutions. Mm-hmm. So, 
uh, I've been pretty satisfied with how it's gone. I, I don't I don't think there's anything been really holding me back too much. Excellent. So uh, as we're recording this, uh, Metal Edge has been live for three days, technically. If you include the super super secret stream about a week, <coughs> cough, cough. <coughs> I've been listening to it for about a week. <laughs> yeah, I've been listening to it since Friday. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, but you know, so it's out there. This thing that you've been working on for so long yep. is getting to the masses and everything. Uh, what's the response been like? I think it's been generally pretty positive. Um, the band seem to have liked it. We've had a lot of people reach out to us in bands, not only su- not, not only being in them, but suggesting them to us. Um, I've had a few people reach out interested in like DJ and personality slots, something we're not, not worrying about right now. As, as much as I would love to, that is that is future plans, mm-hmm. potentially. I, I, I don't want to like say anything solid to get anyone's hopes up, but, you know, um, it... I've been really happy with it. I think some of the some of the news coverage has been pretty cool. Um, I've had a few people reach out to me and say, "Oh, I see what you're doing. It's really cool. Really, really happy this is going on." And it's, uh, I, I'm happy with it. But to me, launch was just another step in the grand scheme of what I needed to do. That was just another thing I had to just wait for. It's like, all right, cool. We go live Sunday. I've been working on this for so long. I've got other stuff I want to do after launch. So I don't know. I it's been bittersweet because it's like, all right, cool, we're live. What next? What do I gotta do now? Mm-hmm. It's 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 not celebrate time. It's what what can we do to expand and do better? Because I my inbox has been blowing up. It's it's nice. I re- I really like all the all the all the Facebook likes and the comments and the shares and all the people reaching out and the emails. Like, hey, I love what you're doing. Want to get involved? But it it leads to some backlog and uh, still trying to keep up on things and keep growing. I think. I don't know. Other than the response has been good. That is that that's the best way to I guess I can put it. We we do have a question from the chat room. Ooh, question from the young, chat. Young young Colby out there uh has a question for you. Uh, he asks, "What's your favorite genre be- besides metal?" All right, so not metal. Uh I, I don't want to went, like wuss out and say classic rock and rock and roll. He says, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move aside from that. He I'm said say reggae dub, specifically reggae California dub. stuff, California Hawaii, okay. not like Jamaica Bob Marley. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that that's that's where I'm gonna go from there. <laughs> that's amazing. I will absolutely form a a reggae metal band at some point. Good mix. Good mix. Um, so I, uh, you brought something with you here and this is metal related. It is very metal. This is kind of. <laughs> not something that we usually do here on the awesome chat. Uh, the best so I'm really interested in this. What do you, what do you got over here? All right. So, uh, on Friday, I was at a show down at the uh, fun house, Mr. Smalls, mm-hmm. uh, a local band, a big supporter of not only the metal edge, they've been on us since before we've been alive. They've or, since before we've been live, not alive. Uh, they were on the river's edge, but unfortunately, were a little too heavy for just airplay. Uh, Grey Walker, uh, Amer- uh, Pittsburgh thrash slash like death metal band. I, I don't, I don't know what to call them. They're, they're Pittsburgh thrash. So they teamed up with a local hot sauce company, uh, Allegheny City Farms, and made this. It is called Mellow Death, named after the uh, genre of metal melodic death metal oh wow uh it is it is a hot sauce infused with the spicy riffs of gray walker and it is delicious so i've been uh i was throwing the idea around to um you know get get a pizza made with it since i work at a pizza shop and uh and we good, did and our good friend slice on broadway who sponsors some shows here on the network yeah. shout out to rico uh mm-hmm. you make good pizza i like what you do <laughs> thanks for giving me a job <laughs> So so what did what did you uh, what did you do with the the, the sauce on the pizza? All right. Um. So, you know, re- uh, usually we we do like a buffalo chicken pizza, which is uh, Frank's Red Hot and essentially garlic butter, uh, a, a garlic butter type sauce. And you uh, well, we subbed out the Red Hot and we replaced it with the Grey Walker sauce, and now we have what I have dubbed the Mellow Deathlo Chicken Pizza. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It is it is a buffalo chicken pizza made with mellow death, and it is fantastic. So, 
We uh now now uh I'm going to model it and I'm going to do a little a little, little plug. There are still a few bottles left on Gray Walker's online store. You can uh you can you can pick some up. I don't know the website, but uh check it out. It's delicious. Uh, um, it is uh it's it's a peach base, so it's got it's got a real nice sweetness to it, but it has a really lasting like burn on the tongue. It's not it's not too overwhelming. But it's gonna sit there. You're gonna you're gonna know that you hate some something spicy. Yep, and we're gonna do this live on the air for you guys. So uh, <laughs> this will be interesting for you guys on the audio side. But uh, and uh, it definitely a slice the slice is uh, top five PA band says Dakota in the chat room. So definitely a little bit different color to it. It's it's a, it's a it's a little lighter. Yeah, a little yellower than usual. You, do you want some uh, some uh, blue cheese, some ranch, something like that with it? With Oof. you, I'll, I'll just take it straight up. That's I'm what, afraid I'm going to get up. all Good over choice. the equipment as it is. So, right. and you have not tried this before, right? Oh no, yeah, I did. This, oh, you did? Oh, I have. Oh, okay. We, we did this on Saturday. That's where the other half of the bottle went. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you look like you're digging into that bottle pretty good. All right, we're going to give a try of this live on the air, and. Uh, <laughs> Bottoms up. Thank you, Slice. Thank you, Ray Walker. That's good. Trying to w- I'm wait for it to hit you. I got mm-hmm. it first bite. Mm-hmm. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it's got some kick. It's got a bit of a kick there. That's why we. That's why we save this for the end of the interview. Yeah. We don't so, want you crying the whole time. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go curl up in a ball in the corner. In the meantime, uh, thank you, Zach, for joining us. And Thanks sharing, for having me. And sharing us the most metal pizza ever, officially, right? Most metal pizza in Pittsburgh, at least. There you go. There you go. Uh, and, of course, check out everything. Where can people uh, uh, check out the Metal Edge? How can they check out the Metal Edge? You all uh, right? You're tearing over there? You all right? Okay. No, I, my... I, um, uh, my eyebrow was itchy, and I realized that was a bad idea oh, no! halfway there. No, I, I didn't get anything. Nothing bad happened. Nothing. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not going to cry yet. <laughs> I'm going to wait till that's off camera. Uh, if you want to check out the Metal Edge, if you like metal, go to https colon slash slash www.metaledgepgh.com. You can stream us live right there. Hey, there it is. Who's playing right now? Um, I don't it's, know if uh, this is prominence. live. Oh, yeah, it's prominence. Not? Yes. Uh... And uh, you can you can check us out there if you want to listen on mobile. You can go to get the free TuneIn Radio app. Just type in the Metal Edge. It should uh, it'll keep you up to date. We got a uh, you know it, it'll it'll show the song names and bands as it's playing. Uh, you'll get that as well with with the live stream just on the website. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the best place to listen. But if you want to give us a follow, head over to Facebook. Give us a like on a I think it's just uh, facebook.com slash Metal Edge PGH. Um, Twitter right. Metal Edge at Metal Edge PGH. All I'm, I, I just talk trash on there to people around and make stupid <laughs> jokes. So, so that's you manning that one. That is that is definitely me. I, I handle most of the social media. Mm-hmm. Um, Brian does a bit of the Facebook. Twitter is definitely just just me making bad metal jokes. Uh, I'm trying to think, those those are, those are the main ones. I've seen I, actually, I've seen some of those. I was wondering <laughs> about that the other day. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I, I try to steal very few of them. I, I don't try to take any of them. No. I'm not uh, funny enough to steal jokes. And also, uh, it, it, anywhere where TuneIn is, I know I already listen to River's Edge and have been uh, listening to Metal Edge on uh, the Alexa. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yep, just woke her it up. Woke I'm sorry. Up. Uh, the Amazon Echo. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Go 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 to sleep. Um, but no, yeah, I, I usually, um, you know, using the app uh, commands over there. Anywhere you have that, so it's uh, it's uh, you can wake up in the morning, but uh, Metal Edge <laughs> with uh, the spicy, spicy riffs of Gray Walker. Oh yes, oh yes, uh, put that on your eggs. Uh, so thank you so much, um, and of course, please check out our friends there and our friends at Rivers Edge, and uh, check out all the rest of the interviews that we have going on here, AwesomeCast.com, the Awesome Chat, and of course the regular show that we do every Tuesday at uh, seven p.m. Eastern Time live on Facebook for the awesome cast and so many other platforms. Uh, thank you to my awesome guest. Hello. Goodbye. I'm Zach. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.